Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joyce here and on this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to integrate ActiveCampaign with System.io or vice versa, how to integrate System.io with ActiveCampaign. Now, the goal for doing this is to use the robust automations that are in ActiveCampaign and to be able to send your emails to your leads. So what happened recently is I've purchased a $9 course that gave me a free members mem membership course that I can actually give away as a lead magnet for free that promotes 11 affiliate products and this means it's passive income for me. And I also got free funnels, free lead funnels that I can use to generate more leads for my online business. And that's where I wanted to use Active Campaign so that I can send all my leads emails and nurture them and build a good affiliate stacking ecosystem that will generate my business better cash flow. Now, if you don't understand what I just talked about, it means you have little knowledge about building an online business. And there is a free masterclass in the description below that you can watch that will show you how people are actually making $1,000, $10,000 or more and how, all they, how they are quitting their nine to five jobs to build an online business. Now, uh, you can actually access this down below, but let's, let's, let me actually show you how to integrate your active campaign with System.io. All right, so first off, you will find, this will be your dashboard this will be a dashboard and this will be your little image here. So you, all you have to do is click on, um, hover your mouse onto this, click on settings. Once you click on settings, all you have to do is scroll down. All right, you scroll down, you will find active campaign settings. So you click on that. Okay, I've already integrated active campaign, but I will go through it over to, I will go through it again with you. So here you will find API URL and API key. All right, here, everything will be deactivated. It will be like this. It will be like this for you, blank, blank, blank. Everything will be blank, all right? So what you will do, what you will be doing is you will need your API URL and API key. So let me show you how to get that. So you have to go over to your Active Campaign account, go to settings, click on the settings, and let's, let's wait for it, okay? And please do forgive me if my laptop is a little slow. And you go up, you hover your mouse that says show navigation. All right. When you click on show navigation, you go down to developer. Once you go to developer, you will find your URL and your key. And you just have to copy your API URL here. And you come to, sorry, you come to your API URL, you paste your link here. You come to key here, copy your API key, you paste it here. And you click on contact created and tag added to contact. That's what you have to do and click on active and you click on save. Now, once you do that, only 50% of your task, of your job is done, all right? You need to do some other stuff. So let me actually show you what happens. So basically in system.io, what happens is you're actually allowed to build only three funnel steps, I'm sorry, three funnel sales funnels plus 15 funnel steps, all right? And you are allowed to have only one tag, only one tag, unless you actually want to go onto the paid version, but the free version is already enough, okay? So what you have to do, what we have to do is to actually go and label a tag. What I want is people who actually enters their name and email address here to go onto my active campaign automation and get email, right? So I will actually have to put a tag in here. So what I will be doing is I will actually go into contact and tags. I will create a first tag, okay? So actually, let me remove this. In your case, it will be completely blank. It will be completely blank. So let me show you how to actually add a tag. So you click on create and the tag that I want to be adding added is 72 hour free, okay, 72 hour. 72 hour free course. And let me actually copy this, okay? And we click on save, all right? We click on save. This is the tag that I want people who enters the name and email address to have, okay? So the next thing that I need to do is to go onto funnels. Once I go into funnels, this is actually the funnel, the sales funnel that I got for free. And there is an opt-in bridge page, earring, and I actually created this uh, bonus bridge page to offer bonuses 
for people who will sign up for this course that is nine dollars all right and um let me if you actually want to see the bonus the bonuses that i will be giving i would actually pin a link above my head that you can actually watch anyways so once i'm actually in the setting of the funnel of the funnel steps all right what i need to do is to go into the automation rules once i'm in the automation rules i need to add a rule so the rule is once they actually uh a contact has just subscribed to the form so in the opt-in, opt-in we have, form. I'm not going to go into much details on how to create opt-in and et cetera, et cetera, but you just have to know that there will be a place where people will be entering the name and email address. So it's a form. So whenever they actually opt, opt-in, I actually need to add a rule. And the rule is to actually add an action. So once they add, what, what the action will be is to add a tag. Now, what the tag will be, will be this, okay? This will be the tag. And I will actually save the rule. Now, we already know that whenever someone will actually enter their name and email address, they will actually get the tag. Now, how will it, how will it go directly to Active Campaign? It's simple. We have to go onto Active Campaign, and we have to go and create a tag. All right, we have to go and create a tag that says whenever someone actually gets this tag, a contact gets this tag, it will enter an automation. And this is what I will actually explain to you in details. So we go into tag. We go into tag. We're going to add a new tag, right? Add this tag. This is what the, this is the tag that we created. So we're going to add tags. All right. Now, once the tag is added, your job is not done. Okay, your job is not done. What you're going to do is you're going to go into automation. We're going to go into automation. We're going to create an automation really fast. All right, this will be a test. You can actually go and create your automation the way you want, but this will be a test. If you want to know how to create a robust automation, I actually did another video on how to create an automation on Active Campaign, and you can actually watch it here above my head. Okay, here it will be here. Okay, so um, we're going to create from scratch and we're going to click continue. Now, I want this automation to actually start when the tag is added, right? Whenever someone actually opts in, whenever someone opts in here, they need to get, they need to get um, an email. So, I will start the trigger. It's, it's, it's taking a time to load, so let us wait. So, I want this automation to start when tag is added, all right? So, the tag will be... 72 hour free course. All right, so add start. The next thing we'll do, you can actually make them wait for five minutes because they are going to go through um, your sales, uh, sorry, your thank you page and all that, okay? And if you're actually promoting something else, you can actually direct them to the bridge page and get them to actually buy some stuff from your whatever you're whatever you're promoting or selling or you can actually send them email directly um, in my case I'm just testing it's a test so I'm going to not waste time and say test one for 72 hour and I'm going to click on select with a template so I'm going to show you, this is how you actually normally do it. So the email is being created. So you can actually go and select the template you want. But uh, in my case, I will select past campaigns. I could have selected past campaigns from the beginning, but this is just to show you, all right? I will click on classic designer, continue. So these are the, the templates that are provided with active campaign and you can actually use it. This will be super fast for me, so I'm actually going to click on um, a past campaign that I actually used, and um, this is a test. This is a test, continue. Because I want to make sure that whatever someone actually enters is really getting the email, so we will test it, and I'm going to select it, test one. Okay, it's being loaded. This is okay. This is my image and all that. So I'm going to click on next.
And the, 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 the best thing that I love about Active Campaign is like it tells you if there is any spam or not. So it does a check for you, all right? And we are going to click on finish. Once this is done, I'm actually going to click on save. I'm going to click on save. Then um, I'm actually going to make them wait. Condition wait. Let's make them wait for a specific time, specific period of time. 99 days because later on after this video I will go and um, continue this automation make it better okay and I will actually put this 72 free course 72 hour free course boom click on save here and I'm actually going to activate the automation to make it active I'll go to automation and if you want to improve how you put up your with your automation I will actually suggest for you to actually add a label. So let me tell you how to add a label. You hover here, you add a label, and if you don't know what label you're going to create, so create a new label. In this case, it will be 72 hour free course. Okay, and you click on create, and this will be a label. So whenever you want to look for this automation later on, you just have to go and search for it right here, and here it is, okay? Is as easy as it is. And now we have to check if this is working or not. Okay, so I'm here. Someone comes in here. They want to take the free course. They click on it. They enter the name and I'm going to enter my email address. All right. And I'm going to click on get the free course. Now, when they, when they actually submit, they should be receiving an email. And this is what I'm going to check on my Gmail account, on my inbox, right? And they're actually going to get a video of me speaking and a story, right? What they need to do so that they, I'm actually promoting the course, all right? The nine dollar course. So they click, they buy, I get money, I get paid, etc. And now let's see if they actually got an email. So I'm going to click on my Gmail and let this load and everything seems to be here see the email is being here so let me open the the email this is a test blah 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 and it is good to go now let me actually let, let's say you want to see if your account is is getting the right information or not so what you have to do is simple uh, you go to active campaign go to your contact okay go to your contact and this is the this is the email address that I that I tested right so you just click on your contact name to see what is happening what is happening to this contact is 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 it doing the right thing or not so I, I believe it, it will update a little. So it entered the automation and it has been sent an, uh, an email and it will open the email and it will tell you what activity your contact is doing. Like this, you will understand if the contact is actually opening your email or not. So guys, I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, all I ask for you is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more on how to start your scale and online business. And before I forget, guys, if you want the free course as a lead magnet so you can actually make passive income from these 11 affiliate links that I mentioned on autopilot in this video, then you can actually access this link right here. This is a $9 product called the 72 hour challenge, and it will teach you how to set up everything and make it your own on system IO and how you can start and make money with it. So here's the link that I've left in the description below. And always guys, this is Joyce Mitrio signing out. See you on my next video. Take care. Bye.